peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again, how to discover what you want. I received a question which asked, how do I know what I want? The struggle between the mind versus the heart and also how to recapture your childhood imagination. I'll share with you what's helped me along my journey. First of all, we have to be okay to want. It is fine to accept that we have desires because when we are in denial of our desires, we don't know what we want. And desires are all about expansion. The first way is to press pause stop whatever you are doing go into nature meditate because the reason why children are so in the now so in the moment is because they are on the brain wave frequency theta and delta this is pure relaxation so the body is the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind lives in the present moment and because of that we can manifest anything we desire so we know our wants children know what they want until we interfere <laughs> meditation clears the mind. Meditation improves our cardiovascular system. It brings radiance. It helps us smile again because many of us are desensitized on the planet. And when you are desensitized, you can't feel anything. You block everyone out. So now, how do you know what you want? There are so many noises all around us in this matrix. But once you reconnect back to nature, once you surrender by just diving in the ocean, now you are connecting back to the elements of earth and this helps you discover what you want, then you have to ask yourself, what is the meaning of my own existence? Because once you ask yourself that, then you will see why you came here. Then you will see why you came here is gonna be different from why I came here because not everyone came to earth to learn the same lessons. And for some people, the meaning is drawing. For some people, it's working in a bank. For some people, it's surfing. For some people, it's skating and counseling and making videos and doing crazy stuff like that. It's all about our own personal meaning. That is how to discover what we want. Then it goes on to asking where do we get our beliefs from? Because all of these ideas which are programs are not ours. They are handed down to us from our family, from our friends, from our society. Therefore, this is shaping our perception. So to discover what we want, we have to start questioning our belief system. We have to start questioning our thoughts to say, are these my thoughts or did I inherit them? Then we go on to consciously thinking using the power of visualization because at that point now you see this is 
what my heart is resonating with. Because to move from the mind into the heart, you can't do it through thinking. You have to do it through moving into your body. Now, when the thoughts come, they will just flow through you. It's just the impulse. And it is pure sensation. I discover what I want when I am not thinking about it. But the thoughts come. That's a great paradox. But it happens because life is what happens when you are making other plans. And a great way to discover what you want is by taking the radical action because every path you take will lead to another road. There is no destination. The whole of life is a process. And if you try out something, you see it doesn't work for you. Now you can go on to something else. But many of us, hey, we're afraid to make mistakes. We're afraid to even try it out. And that's the worst thing in the world. I have done so many different things to know what I want. And all of that helps you to let go of fear. When you are not afraid to experiment, to dive deep, to let go of everything holding you back, of people who are telling you you can't do something, to stop caring what other people think. That is how to discover what you want and that helps you to become the greatest version of yourself. In the great words of Alan Watts, what would you do if money was no object? See you. No, I love what I'm doing because it's a choice. And when you stop worrying about the external and focus on the internal, things become clearer because so many of us, we have conditioning from our society and we have this expectancy of what we think we should be doing when that may not be what we authentically want to do. And we can only discover our true wants by tapping into our true emotions, which is the energy in motion. And that means we can't allow our emotions to be manipulated by outside sources. So we have to know thyself by breathing deep from the base of our spines, by taking time for self-care, by having fun and realizing that we have to be brave. To discover your wants, you have to become the architect of your own reality. Yes, we have to share with amazing spirits, but more so, you have to see that it's all you. Through your perception, you are creating the world. And when you see you are not a victim, now you see you are worthy for what you want. Dream it, do it, be it. That's it. And that is the story of my life right now. I know that what I want is what I've always wanted. And that is just to live a simple life where I can just explore any authentic impulse that runs through my veins. It's not about success or fame. It's about the definition I give to my life. It's about my own artwork, not what the world tells me is valuable. 
the house on the hill, the fame, the glory. I don't want none of that because I am all about personal development, learning more about myself, the fun side, the scary side, the crazy side, the mad side, the angry side, the loving side. That in itself is a lifelong process. And that is what I want. So I allow it, I surrender to it. You discover what you want when you make fear your ally, your best friend, because fear is the gatekeeper to our wildest desires. But many of us, we run in the other direction when we have to embrace our fears. That is the only way to see what our heart is beating for. Because what we are most afraid of holds so much power. The mere fact you are afraid of following a passion means that it holds a deep significance. I always say to myself, what am I focusing on most during the day? And that is how to know what I want. But more so, it's about detaching from the television, the radio, so I can listen to myself, so I can have that intuition that can bring about that intention, that can bring about that radical action. All of our wants are based on our feelings. And I always say that I came here to share with the world. That is what I know I came here to do. And I don't even have to want that because when you say I want, you are sending a signal to the universe that you don't have what you desire. Therefore, you will always remain in lack. When you say I have, for me, I have abundance. I have health. I have prosperity. Right here, right now. I have success. Success is not out there. Fame is not out there. It's within me. This is what I was born with. And when you see that, you discover not what you want. You see that everything you want is already inside yourself. Just like that. <laughs> when you become mindful, now you start discovering your wants because you see that the mind creates all the rules and boundaries to how we live our life. But the heart is all about freedom, expansion, the heart has no rules or boundaries. And that is where we discover our true desires. The greatest way to connect with the heart is to be in a loving relationship because it's other people that can draw more out of us. And that is why other people can give us meaning just as we can give ourselves meaning. But once we start connecting with amazing people, once we start not being so hard on ourselves, once we start always seeing ourselves in a positive regard, now we can discover what we want. Because as long as we are trash talking ourselves, hitting ourselves, punching ourselves, throwing ourselves off the roof. If you've got a roof, now we can never discover what we want because we are wasting time on feeling sorry for ourselves. And I see that this is it. And therefore, we discover what we want when we don't procrastinate. 
And the only way to not do that is to get real. I see, I can see through the veil. And that is why I am not afraid of my true desires because to me, they are the only thing that makes sense. Slow down, reconnect back to nature and listen to that small voice because there are so many people telling us what we want, but only we know. We're here, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.